Give the EP to anyone, then catch Ludi Holo. Panel 16, give the EP to Starmie. Blue Coral will be panel 10. Oh, come on, seriously? That's total bullcrap. That's a critical battle because you can survive on 1 HP, and if it gets a crit rock slide, you're screwed. I got horrible luck last time with that freaking uh, low roll. That freaking last time was the mother of all low rolls on that psychic's damage output. Thing is, it can still survive this next one, though. Nope. Yeah, I got a horrible low roll on the damage output of that last psychic. Anyway, panel six. Booty Holo panel two. Give the EP to anyone. Use the flip panel 12. Do the same, give it to anybody. Flip panel 8 and catch lantern. Use it to be panel four. Ah. 
<sighs> and it says beat panel four. Give Lantern the EP. Use Lantern to beat panel three. Anyway, panel three. Give Lantern the EP. Use it to beat panel seven. is worthless. <laughs> Give the EP to Lantern. Use it to be about 11, but watch out if it freezes it, you, it's over. And isn't that lovely that it's a three hit KO? He has a two opportunities to freaking freeze you. Stupid RNG! Screw you! Seriously, stupid RNG, screw you! That is freaking massive bullcrap! I swear to freaking god, thank you. Freaking bullcrap. 
between the last time and this time, three damn battles, and then a roll froze before finally getting past it. Stupid RNG bullcrap. Elixir. Battle Bingo's cut off his card. Flip panel 12. <clears throat> That's Charizard. Decided to be panel 11. Then flip panel seven and distribute the EP. It should have told you exactly what to do. It says use Charizard to beat panel three, Scyther for flipping panel 15 and catching goal along. But it doesn't really matter then in that case. Because if you're catching a Pokemon, it doesn't matter which one you give it to. So why they say specifically Scyther to catch Golem, that makes no sense, but whatever. Charizard to be panel 3. Panel 15, catch Golem. Give the EP to Scyther. Going for panels 9 and 10. Okay, this one's a troll. <laughs> Here's why it's a troll. It is a Gyarados, but it has flamethrower. I can still be problematic with Golem though, between the Intimidate and the Flamethrower Lord's attack if you get, it gets an unlucky burn on you. Okay, so it said panel 
10, stupid taskbar. Oh, and nine. So panel nine, give the EP to go on. He was going for flipping panel six and getting the master ball. Why does it matter who you give the EP to if you're using the, well, the golem to flip the panel when it is out of EP at that point anyway. It should be given to any Pokemon. I get one that's the second instance where the guy's making no sense on this one. Sorry third to flip panel two. Okay, twag sir. Flag started to beat panel four. You can also use Golem because Electro had a Thunderbolt and they can't attack Golem, so go you go Golem can get the job done too. So you don't have to use Flag Sire for this, you can also use Golem. Flag Sire is preferred though because it's a one shot. <laughs> Okay, so panel four. Quack started to flip panel sixteen. Give the EP to Scyther. Then Scyther to beat panel one. One, give the EP to go on. Go on the beat, pal. 14. EP to Quarksire. Quarksire. Beat panel 13. Okay, so yeah. It says give the EP to go on. Go on the beat panel 14. Then give the EP to Quagsire from there. Quagsire to beat panel 13, give Quagsire all the EP. So I think you pretty much don't want to give everything to Golem on that because you only use Golem one more time anyway. So another instance where the guy doesn't isn't freaking being completely sensical. This is that who Golem the beat panel 14. And it does yeah, use go on the all for the rest of it. And um panels five and eight. That thing's not an issue. That one is an issue. Um 
Yeah, Quarksire is the best one for that because that one beats the Charizard and the Scyther, so yeah, you'll need that for Quagsire. And Golem is not doing much to that thing with Rock Slide, so yeah, it's gotta be Quagsire. So yeah, I just had to look ahead on that one, and then that one, the, that one, um... So yeah, Quagsire, essentially for the rest of this besides panel 14. Let me see what that is. Yeah, so... Golem for this one, and then Quagsire for the rest of it. So essentially, after this battle, give all our meaning EP to Quagsire and use it for the rest of this. <laughs> I guess that first hit was a critical. Thunderbolt can't do anything to you. Use Quagsire to beat panels 5 and 8. Critical battle because of the possible flinching. Off from the final Pokemon, not this one. Means out speed. Here's the thing though, there's the possible flinching, but if it's getting no critical hits with that damage output, Rock Slide only has 10 power points. So unless you get super unlucky with critical hits, it's likely it would run out of power points before it could even do enough damage to you, but then it starts struggling and then that could probably do more damage than the Rock Slide and finish you off. RNG just being bullcrap at this point. Seriously, three freaking times in a row with the flinching, that's bullcrap nonsense. But hey, I had the three battles in a row where I got froze off the freaking Lapras, so... And that's way more ridiculous than getting flinched three times in a row off from a move. Because flinching happens way more often than freaking freezing status does.
Hey, stop me here, because there's... That's still not the end of the battle, Bango, but... Oh well, it is what it is, so unfortunately I won't be finishing this until Sunday. I wanted it to be done so I could finish the Let's Play between next Sunday and Monday. But anyway guys, that says that's it for this video. Hope you guys all enjoyed these videos, and I'll see you guys next time for more Let's Play Pokemon XD, Yellow Darkness, Pokemon Only Run. Bye everybody.